Hi guys, uh, as I promised, I'm making this video on update on the pellet extruder. <coughs> uh, I just came from the machinist shop. Uh, he made this block. It's not super done, but it will do the job. Uh, here, if you can see, I can't, I can't remove it, but it is a piece of stainless steel. I will use it as a heat breaker. Here on the background, you can see this is NEMA 23 uh, with the gearbox, with planetary gearbox 1 to 15. Uh, this is a screw. Uh, this is this was given to me by my friend. Uh, I don't honestly know where I got it from. And I decided to make a pellet extruder. Uh, this is the second version. The first version was successful. But I decided to make it even better. This was the barrel from the first one. I'll show it closer. Sorry, it's dark here. Uh, this is the second one. This is much better. And here you can attach, you can see the nozzle. You can attach and deattach the nozzle. Uh, the heater will be here. This ceramic. I got some ceramic pieces from large scale band heater. I'll show you the bits. They look like this. As you can see, there is a hole. Nothing special. They go to each other. And I wind up a coil. The coil will be approximately 400 watts. Uh, it will be wrapped around the barrel here to look like this of course I will not leave it like this but it will be covered with stainless steel first there will be some ceramic cotton over it and then it will be covered with a stainless steel sheet This part is for releasing the heat, so the pellets that will go in would not stick here. And also, as I told you, I'm using stainless steel here. The barrel will go in like this. It will be fixed from here by the screws. Four screws will be attached to the barrel. And... Finally, the motor goes like this. This will be whole setup. Uh, this extruder uh, from the first version, I calculated like it's capable of extruding approximately four pounds an hour. Let's see what's going on. After I finish, I will make an update video and you will see it yourself how it works works thanks guys if you have any questions feel free to ask the diameter of this screw is 60 millimeter one of the guys asked me on YouTube thanks take care guys